How's it going guys, Noir Tapes back with another video. Today I wanted to discuss a bit more about how to get the iconic lo-fi sound. So what I did in preparation for this video, I picked a sample and I made a beat around it, obviously, I always do. And with the idea about creating the lo-fi sound in mind, I put into practice a few different things on the MPC and I'm going to break it down for you guys and show you a bit. So let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play the beat in its entire form and then I'll take off the effects and break down what I did to get the sample to sound that way. Also, just a disclaimer, you may have noticed I had a finger surgery last week. Don't worry about it. I've just got this thing on until the end of the week and then they change it into a different dressing and hopefully these two fingers won't be bound together anyways. But it ain't going to stop me from making videos. So, let's do it. So that was a beat in its entirety, very lo-fi, I love that uh, style of beat, and I think it turned out really well. So I've just gone and taken off all the effects on the sample, and now I'll play you guys the sample by itself. You can hear it sounds very different to the end result. I think one of the things I always remember when it comes to lo-fi is the low-passing of the sample to get that watery vibe. And I think a great example of why that came around is in this sample right here. You can hear I've done a bit of warping so I could use the pitch I wanted. And the hi-hats in particular in the sample sound very warped and not, not great. And I think that's one of the main reasons that they always low pass is to get rid of the high end to make it sound washed. But it also has a, an application in this situation to get rid of those hi-hats. So the first thing I did to the sample was I turned on a filter that does the majority of the work to get to sound lo-fi. There's a few other things you'll see in a minute, but using a filter is a great way to get rid of that high end and get rid of those gross hi-hats that I just talked about. So this is what it sounds like with the filter on. You can still hear them subtly, but the hi-hats and the snare are buried a lot more in the mix when they're low pass like that. The sample sounds a bit fuller and thicker as well, and it also does a good job taking a bit of that sting out of the saxophone or trumpet. I'm pretty sure it's the saxophone though that's playing. That high end can sometimes get a bit stingy when you add lo-fi effects, so this does a good job of getting rid of that. So next we come onto the effects. So first I put on Air Enhance, just to enhance that low end. So let's listen to it now, with and without. Very subtle difference in the headphones and probably on your phone speaker if you're listening through that as well. With the sub, you would definitely notice the difference there. The next plugin I used was Air Flavor. I sort of played around with a few different presets and I ended up using the Gramophone 2 and turning down the timber depth. At full, it would sound like the sample was so thin and it was coming out of a gramophone. That's the point of it. But as I turn down the timber, it keeps both the original before it came into the plugin and the output of that gramophone and it merges the two. So this produces an interesting effect. This is what it sounds like with it on. You can sort of hear it's, it's still a bit subtle as well, but it really does a good job boosting the saxophone. So far all the plugins have just been essentially building on what's already there. Aside from the low pass, that made a significant change at the start to make it more lo-fi. But now is where it gets very lo-fi. I end up using the Air Lo-Fi plugin, conveniently. <laughs> and in here, I covered this in another video, I'll link it up the top here, but I have a bunch of different presets I've made myself, just mimicking different samplers. And I tried a few different ones and I end up liking the way the SP1200 one sounded. And that's, of course, like that's a classic sampler that is using lo-fi as well. 
so that makes sense. And so I'll play it for you now and I'll turn it on and off while it's playing so you can hear the difference, but it's very noticeable, you'll know. One thing I think is so cool about the lo-fi style is using filters and EQs to take away parts of the sample and then using these pl lo-fi plugins to add back those frequencies it sort of transforms sounds into these different sounds that you didn't have in the first place like this saxophone here there was hi-hats playing it was a full song and I've stripped it away and then added those frequencies back with the lo-fi plugin and the bit crushing and it just transforms sound so it's so different but yeah so that's what I did low pass to remove those hi-hats it was practical but they also don't lo-fi a lot I used air enhance to bring up the bass a little bit use that as like a per situation sort of option there air flavor to add that gramophone texture and then the big one air lo-fi does a good job with the bit crushing and adding that sting to it and so this is what we get after we've added all that You don't even really notice the warping now. After that low pass was done this thing, a lot of those warping artifacts are taken out and then the frequencies are reintroduced with the lo-fi plugin. You only notice a few, like that saxophone at the end of every two bars. You can sort of hear it, it sounds a little warped, but it's fine. It sounds pretty good, I think. And so then all I did was added drums. And I think I added a lo-fi plugin on the master as well, but you don't have to do that. I just did it because I like the way the drums sound with it as well. And this is what I'm left with. And there you have it. Another video describing the uh, iconic lo-fi sound. <laughs> As you can tell, I love making lo-fi. It's one of my favorite genres to make and listen to. So chill. I'm not a person who needs music to study, but I just love lo-fi as a genre. I think very nostalgic and there's a lot of emotion in it, which is something I'm always looking for in my music. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, go get my free drum kit in the description. You can go to my website and download it. And I'll see you next time.